Hey everyone, it's Tom from the WB Trading Team and today's video is going to be all about making the perfect chart in TradingView. Now, I know TradingView is a really popular platform out there, probably for a lot of you. Um, a lot of our traders use TradingView. It's really accessible in terms of the broker selection. Um, it's one of the best platforms out there and it can be a little difficult to use. So it's always helpful to understand how we can get TradingView set up exactly how we need it. So we've done some guides before on TradingView um, in terms of more of the technical aspects using the indicators, using the drawing tools. But what we're going to focus on today is just designing the right chart so you can basically have the chart exactly how you want it when you start trading. So yeah, let's get into it. Just very quickly before we dive in, if you're still struggling with your trading or you'd like to know more about how mechanical edges are traded, I've put together a free video course for you that'll map out and explain everything in detail along with walking you through exactly how the mechanical rules actually work. If you'd like to watch that after this video, I'll pop a link in the description. You can click through and you can watch that straight away. So we want to start by going onto the chart section of TradingView. So this is the main menu, um, just the home screen of TradingView, and you would go into products and go to chart plus here. Um, you could go through and select a particular market, so maybe you'd want to pick a certain forex pair, but it's easy just to load up the chart straight away like this. Once you do this, you'll get greeted with a screen that should look very similar to this. Um, so I'm on the last chart I was looking at here, which is GBPUSD. I'm on the daily, and I've got it set up as like the default settings in terms of the, the layout and the candlesticks, etc. So let's now have a look at how we can customize this to basically align it to however we want in terms of the visibility, in terms of the details on the screen as well. So let's have a look at two of the most basic settings on TradingView in terms of appearance. We're gonna look at how the market is displayed and we also look at changing it from just the light to dark. So in terms of that first section, um, we'd go into here and simply in the corner when you're logged into TradingView, come down to dark mode here and it will switch it up, ask you a little confirmation and you can change it across. Uh, now I know some traders really like using the light mode. We can change this around a little bit more as well. Um, in a second, I'll show you how to really change the background, but most traders are set on either using light or dark mode on their broker's platforms. Um, we'll keep on dark mode for the rest of this, um, but you know that's a personal preference thing. The other thing is then to see how we display the price. So at the moment, we've just got standard candlesticks open and TradingView actually gives you quite a lot of options, even on the free version. Um, to be able to change how price is displayed. So if we go up to the top here, um, just along from where we changed to the dark mode, you've got a candle section here. And in here, we've got all these different options. We can do a simple bars, um, which I know a lot of you will be using, um, all the way down to, you know, we can use Heikinashi setups here, if that's something we want to look at as part of our strategies. Um, and even just use a line chart. Obviously, you know, the data there is fairly limited. So. I know most of you will stick on the standard candles. One thing that TradingView does well is that it gives you kind of a setting for hollow candles um, if that's a process you wanted to go through. So for example, if you you know you didn't have to click through manually and change the candles to hollow, um, which can be fairly tedious. And obviously if you're gonna go through and change it back to light mode, um, let me just figure that through. One thing this allows you to do if you wanted to print off the charts is easily distinguish between the buy and the sell candles. So, you know, we don't have to go through and manually highlight those um, or waste a lot of ink if we're printing through between green and red, for example. So it can, you know, a little impact there, um, but it's a benefit to have that option as well. It's good to see that TradingView has included that. So let's have a look at a few of the ways we can just change how the data is displayed on the chart. Um, starting with the axis here. So as you can see here, we've got a few settings at the bottom where we can change from just a standard price here to a percentage, in case you would like to see that. And obviously we can take that back to auto. And also in this menu here, there's quite a few options, including moving the scale to the left. So it's on that side of the chart. I'll, uh, I'll just swing that back through. We can also change things like inverting the scale if we needed to. Um, we've added quite a few labels, but if you wanted say the bid and the ask labels on here, uh, we could add those on there, uh, just in case that's important. Also taking off the symbol name here in case it's blocking anything is something I know quite a few traders do. So we can mix and match that to get 
the layout of the chart in terms of the data that's displayed kind of exactly to how you want it. But then what we can also have a look at is doing a little bit more visual customization, which we'll come on to in a second now. So the next section we can go to is up here in the top corner, which is chart settings. And this is where you'll find the bulk of the customization. So in here, we've got a number of different sub menus. We'll start at the top with symbol, which will hopefully be fairly clear to under, understand this one. It's just gonna be changing the different colors and layouts of the candlestick. So obviously we can get rid of, if you wanted to delete the bodies and have them both hollow. I know we had the option before of having one hollow using the candle settings up here. Um, but if you wanted, you could even get rid of the wicks um, for whatever reason, and obviously change the colors in here. So maybe if you wanted the body to be blue, obviously changing the borders to blue to make it look a bit more consistent there. We could do that. You know, not the easiest thing to read, but personal preference if you wanted to change any of these. And there's quite a wide variety, obviously, of customization options within this color menu here. Um, again, down here, we can change things like the time zone. Once again, we've got that option always on the chart anyway at this point. Um, but within these menus, we get a lot more visual customization when we go down to the appearance section here. So we can change all sorts of elements. What I like to do in terms of if I'm printing out charts um, is always to have the watermark on there. It's not the easiest to see. So, you know, changing the color through and just making it a little less opaque is a bit easy to read. Okay, it can get in the way sometimes, but it can be quite helpful to have that on the chart. And even changing little bits and pieces like the gradient color, if you want to change the color of the background exactly, um, you know, that's something that you can do in here. So. It gives you a fair few customization options to just change the layout of the chart to look exactly how you want it. And depending on if you need to print it out, if you need to take a screenshot for a presentation or whatever, um, the options within TradingView in this menu and in some of the other menus that we've covered are pretty extensive. Um, if we go to the scales menu, it's pretty much what we saw before when we had a look at the chart menu down here. Um, one key thing if you want to change the time hours. So, you know, if you prefer having on a 12 hour instead of a 24 hour, that's absolutely fine. I think most trades would be more comfortable on a 12, and sorry, on a 24, but it's there in case you wanna change anything around. So it's quite handy to have this amount of options, even if some of them seem fairly minor, the trading view have included at least. One more thing that I wanted to show you that is unfortunately only available on the trading view pro plans, and it's probably one of the most requested things I get from traders when they say, can we do this in TradingView is looking at multiple charts. So up here um, in the corner, we've got this select layout function here. As you can see, you can go for all sorts of combination of chart layouts here. It's in terms of variety and customization, this is TradingView levels above most other brokers that I've seen. And, and again, you can change a number of things. So unfortunately, you know, showing you even just say the four charts split up um, gives you this option that we can say, no, nah, we're limited here. So if you're gonna to want to see two charts side by side, the pro plan is there. Any more pro plus and premium um, that you'd have to go up to to check. I mean, it's not required, I suppose, for any trade. It's a nice thing to have certainly and, and other brokers do offer it kind of as part of the default package. But for trading view, it's one of those optional extras that you need to pay for the pro plan. Can be quite useful for some traders, can be make or break. For other ones though, if you're just starting out, it's not really a deal breaker. I wouldn't go upgrading to the pro plan just for that function, but that's where it's located for anybody that is using TradingView on any of the different plans. So those are just a couple of the areas that TradingView helps with, basically allowing you to make the perfect chart for you. Um, I appreciate, you know, there's a lot on the screen here. If you're fairly new to trading view that we haven't covered on this video, we've covered these areas, for example, the drawing tools, the indicators on other videos. Um, I'll link those here. So go back and have a look at those in case you wanted to learn how to use trading view with a more in-depth analysis. Um, one final thing that I will say in terms of using trading view, uh, one of the most useful functions certainly is taking the snapshot up here. So we can always go in here, save the chart image, copy it, even if we want to copy a link, for example, um, it can be really helpful just to save a copy of the chart once you place a trade. You can put it into a digital journal or print it out and it just makes it a bit easier than having to print screen or snip, for example, and save like that. Um, so with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully that's been quite useful in terms of some of the basic features of TradingView, just to allow you to get your perfect chart in line. As always, if you would like to know any more about how we trade, 
Um, there are links in the description to book a call with one of our team. Um, they can talk you through kind of our trading process. Um, quite a lot, as I said at the start, a lot of our traders do use TradingView. Um, so it's important to learn how to use the platform if you're trading our strategies, certainly. Um, but, you know, there are other platforms available, absolutely. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that's been useful. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, guys. Take care.